Hey everybody, it's Kay the Reader and I'm back for part three of my very first book haul. And the first author that I'm going to tell you about is someone that I really love reading her work or listening to it on audio. Her stories tend to have a darker tone to them, but her character development, her pacing, her description, her imagery, all very good. And I think if you like suspense that you will truly enjoy reading this author. And her name is Tammy Hogue. And this first book is Kill the Messenger. It's about a bike messenger who has to deliver a package. And on the way he's shot at, he's chased down alleys, you know, almost hit by a car. And when he gets to the attorney that he's supposed to to deliver the package to the attorney is dead and he becomes suspect number one so not only is he now trying to escape an unknown killer but he's running from the police as well so that looks like it's going to be pretty good the second book is deeper than the dead and some children are walking through the woods and they come upon a dead body and their teacher who is not too far behind them she's heartbroken to witness their the loss of their innocence. Um, and not only that, but now the community is in turmoil because there's a killer on the loose. So I look forward to reading those two books. The next four books are all by the same author and they're all part of the same series. The author is Nora Roberts, writing as J.D. Robb, and the series is In Death. And all of the books in the series have the words In Death in the title. I'm not sure at this point how many books are in this series. There's a lot of them. And I've listened to many of them on audiobook from the library. And I love listening to the lady who narrates those stories because she does a very good job. And changing in and out of voice and all that, she, she does a good job narrating these books. But here they are, the four that I got. Fantasy and Death, Strangers and Death, Memory and Death, and Kindred and Death. And I know this doesn't matter to a lot of people, but it does to me. Look how pretty the covers are, the dust jackets, and how consistent they are. So on the shelf, they'll pop out as all being part of the same series and all being by the same author. So that's going to look really nice on the shelf. I may be the only person who cares about that kind of thing, but, you know. Anyway, <laughs> the series is about Detective Eve Dallas, and she and her partner... Peabody, as well as her, her billionaire husband, Rourke, they work together to solve crimes and mysteries in a futuristic New York City. And the stories are very good. They're very good. Very well written. And I know, again, if you enjoy suspense, thriller, mystery, that kind of thing, then you will enjoy the In-Death series by J.D. Robb. Well, that concludes my very first book haul. These are all of the books that I got parts one two and three so I hope you enjoy and if you've read any of these books or if you want to read any of these books please comment below and let me know also if you would please subscribe I don't have any subscribers yet and I know that's because I don't have a lot of videos yet um, but I, I hope to change that uh, very soon I will be publishing um, the start of my featured five videos in the feature five series that I'm going to do will be five random books that I pull off of my bookshelf and just tell you about them. It doesn't matter if the books were published 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. To me, books are eternal and it doesn't matter when they came out. It just matters, you know, what's, you know, between those covers. If it's good, it's good. doesn't matter how old it is. So I hope to do that to give you more insight on the types of books that I like to read. Leave comments, as I said. Let me know what you're reading. Please subscribe. Share the links, you know, on your web page or your Facebook page or what have you. I, I really don't mind. And if you're not on Goodreads, get on Goodreads. It's a great place to learn about new books. And you can develop your list of books that you have read, that you want to read, that you're currently reading. You can set up your own personal book challenge to you know, list how many books you want to read this year, next year, or what have you. So it's a, it's a great website. So if you're not on Goodreads, hop on Goodreads. Until next time, keep reading and keep sharing the love of reading and books with your friends.